Welcome to CBS Evening News this Friday. The confusion at the border over who gets locked up and who goes free. While the president meets families who've had relatives killed by those here illegally. A big Supreme Court ruling with privacy implications for all the information stored on your phone. And Steve Hartman with a lunch lady changing lives. But first, the headlines in 60 seconds. President Trump held an event today. As the White House tries to shift the focus of the immigration debate. We're gathered today to hear directly from the American victims of illegal immigration. We're learning more about a viral photo that has come to symbolize the intense debate. The family was never separated while they were in the custody of Border Patrol. For the third straight night, protests are expected to happen here in East Pittsburgh after a 17-year-old was gunned down by a police officer. The European Union has slapped tariffs on American products. The president punching back, threatening more tariffs, this time on European cars. PG&E is setting aside $2.5 billion to pay for damage done by the wine country wildfires. Cal Fire report traced many of the deadly fires to the utilities power lines. Women in Saudi Arabia are set to drive legally for the first time this weekend. Women have been protesting for the right to drive for nearly 30 years. You nailed it. Let's go! Baby, you can drive my car! Sir Paul McCartney got in the front seat with James Corden, and things got a little emotional. There will be 